Hey you, yes you, do you like spending money on crates in World of Tank Splits and possibly getting nothing for your money's worth? Well, oh boy, do I have good news for you. With the new Transformer crates coming into the game, you can spend even more money and get less of a drop chance out of all of the containers. Well, hopefully all of you are doing well out there. Sadly, Christmas is already over, and I'm of course your host, Droodles. And in today's video, well, we are going to be talking about, as I just said, the brand new Transformer crates that should be coming out sometime within the next couple of months in World of Tanks Blitz. Now these are possibly the worst containers I've ever seen. As you can see here, I'm opening up 1500 gold containers that give you a 10% drop chance to get your hands on a snow globe. And I opened up all the gold I had, about 8500 worth, and as you can see, I got literally nothing out of all of them to try and get the snow globe, which may contain a vehicle. So I'm opening a crate to then get a crate to where I can get a vehicle. Well, oh boy, if we move over to the transformer crates, it just makes that whole thing a whole lot worse. So we go over to Edge, and these are the containers, and the way they work is you buy the transformer box, and then it gives you another box with a drop chance all equal. So I could open up, let's say I buy a pack of 10, so it might be cheaper than you'd think because you're getting 10. However, you open up 10 and it's going to give you a different crate for every single one. So you open up one transformer crate and then it's going to drop you a badger crate. And then you open up the next transformer crate and it's going to drop you a chimera crate. And then you open up the next one, it's going to give you a helsing crate. So not only do you have no choice in what vehicle you could get out of the crates, but as well... It's just awful, because then you are opening that crate with a terrible drop chance of 5%. Now, it took me 30 STG charms to get my hands on the vehicle, that is how actually I got my STG. It was not because I got lucky and got my hands on it for $50, and that's probably why Pantoof hasn't made a video on it, is because the STG is an extremely expensive tank, and that has a 5% drop chance. So, getting your hands on these vehicles, if you think about it, is really smart for wargaming, because they're making your chances diminished by giving you a different chance to every single vehicle, every single crate you open, which, of course, isn't very fun. Now, the vehicles that you can get consist of the Badger, the AMX-30B, the T-22 Medium, the T-54E, E2 Shark, the T95E6, WZ120, GFT, Chimera, RAAC Centurion, the Action 10, the Emil 1951, which of course we all want to get. However, hopefully by then it would have already been sold in crates as it is. Yeah, it's probably going to be coming in crates, by the way, if any of you did want to know. WZ111 5A, VK90.01P, Chieftain Mark 6, Smasher, Supercock, SU130PM, the Dracula, and the Helsing. And if you open up, I think, 10 of these or something, and gives you 1,000 gold, which is good, I guess, but at the same time, you're probably not going to be spending gold on these, and you're going to be spending uh, money. It's not like, I think it might just be like the way it makes you buy some of the STG crates, where it's like $5.99, doesn't let you spend any gold, which kind of sucks. So, yeah, the Transformer boxes are not something I am looking forward to. And I wanted to say this now, do not spend your money on these containers. Yeah, if there's a cheap bundle that's for like $5, and it gives you five of them, I do have a feeling that these will be cheaper than your or average box, but do not think that they are anything new, cool, and hip. They are actually the opposite. They are just giving you crappy containers hidden in a brand new type of paywall that absolutely sucks. In my opinion, Blitz is becoming a little bit too much pay to win, because a bad player at this game could easily buy a Smasher or an Annihilator now, and just make their way straight into becoming actually a decent player, where and player that's trying to learn how to get good the game has to struggle and deal with these overpowered tanks while they're making their way up the game. And containers like this don't really make it better because now the people that are trying to pay to get better are also having to pay such a ridiculous amount of money, they actually almost deserve the pay to win because getting your hands on any of these tanks with a 5% drop chance is about literally 5%. So you could spend $1,000 and because they're giving you different containers every time, literally get no vehicle that you want and end up with a, a Helsing or, you know, one of the worst vehicles on the whole list, which might get you really, really mad. So, I'm kind of not happy with how Wargaming is doing the Transformer boxes. I thought they were going to be cool, but no, it doesn't look like they're very cool. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below out of that. Now, there are some really good vehicles in there. In fact, they put some of the best vehicles there just to probably entice you into trying to get them, like the T-22 Medium with a 5% drop chance. Not too bad. However, there's better advice I have for you. Of course, as we all know, the T-22 Medium, if we go back to Blitz, is currently for sale for the price tag of either $24.99 if you want to test your luck 
in the 25% drop chance, or it is 20,000 gold, which if you were to get your gold boxes, which you can see like here, you would have been able to get your hands on a T22 medium, one of the best tier 10 mediums in Blitz for the price tag of 20 US dollars, which is way better than gambling your money on something like Transformer crates or the STG crates. You could either spend... 15,000 gold, almost $20 worth of gold on containers that you might not get anything out of, and you probably won't, or 20,000 gold on something that you will guarantee get something out of, and a two-tier higher tank. Yeah, it's no question whatsoever. So the fact that anybody would gamble on these Transformer crates, in my opinion, isn't worth it at all, because you could literally spend your money and buy each of those tanks when they come into the stores. Even the VK90, I have a feeling, will come out in a gold bundle like it did last time for just a flat-out price. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but please do not gamble in Blitz. I gamble so you don't have to. As you know, I spent a lot of money on this year's Blitz Fair. In fact, probably about $200 in total now, which isn't not as much, isn't as much as I thought he was going to be, but still, even after opening literally as you saw, seven of these boxes, I still didn't get one snow globe. Statistically, I had about a 60% chance to get one, so I could have flipped a quarter there, and I still didn't get one. So, getting your hands on a snow globe is just as bad as getting anything else in Blitz. And the snow globe actually had a higher chance of dropping than the other vehicles. So, either my luck is just really bad, or you can see that trying to gamble your money for a 5% drop chance, a wonderful voice crack from me there, is not worth it. So, hopefully, you enjoyed today's video. As always, if you did, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. But I just wanted to make a quick little video talking about the new and useless Transformer boxes in Blitz. But, hopefully, you enjoyed it. Other than that, I will be seeing you in the next one.